Welcome back, everybody. I am Denver Gamer, and today we're going to do an XMU tutorial. XMU stands for Xbox Emulation, and we are going to get original Xbox games working on your PC. Let's get started. As you can see on the right side of the screen there, I have some backups of my physically owned games. Now we're going to create a folder. I'm going to show you how I like to have my folder set up. So right click on your desktop, select new folder, and then I'm going to put XEMU. Go ahead into that. I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to create a folder named BIOS, B-I-O-S. And then I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to create another folder named Games. Okay, so now I'm going to drag my games into the games folder. I like to have everything in one spot. Again, that's not how you have to have it set up, but that's the way I like to have it set up. Side note, guys, your game should be an XISO image. That's an Xbox disk image file, and I will have more information for you in the description of this video. Okay, so now that we're out of that, let's go to the first link in the description, and that is going to take you to the XMU emulator right there. Now you have a couple options. You can download for Windows or there is another hot link to alternative download options, but I do have a Windows PC. So I will download that. And I'm gonna go to my XMU folder I created and just put that on the root of that folder, right next to the BIOS and games folders. Next link in the description. We need to go get a hard drive image and the BIOS files. Scroll down to Xbox, select blank HDD image, and then put that also on the root of your XMU folder. Next, let's get the BIOS files. I'm gonna have two links for you. First, let's use this one. that will take you to Mediafire. Put that in the BIOS folder and save. Next, this is the recommended BIOS actually from the XMU site that is 4627. So go ahead and download this one as well and put it in your BIOS folder. Now let me show you here in the written guide, you can really get a lot of your questions answered here. If you go down to flash ROM image, it does say complex 4627 is the recommended one on their site. I wanna show you one more thing over here. If you go to the XMU homepage, you can see compatibility up there at the top. And you can play around with this and really find out what is playable, what is not playable. There's actually very few that are perfect, but the playable ones have kind of minor issues. This is a great reference for you if you're just, you know, trying to figure out which ones play on your PC really well. But let's get out of that and start setting up the emulator. Go into your XMU folder that we have created. First thing we're gonna do is extract the emulator. So go ahead and extract that, and you can delete the zip file. And next we'll extract the hard drive image. Do the same, extract it there in the root of the folder. Delete that zip file. And next let's go into the BIOS folder, and we are gonna extract both of those zip files and delete those as well. Now we should have everything we need to get games playing. All right, so go up in the folder structure and let's start the executable file and start the emulator. Now you guys will notice that there is no music. I have been nailed before in my tutorials uh, and had videos taken down because of music. They don't like me do it, putting the stuff out there. Go to machine, system, and we're gonna select some files here. For the boot ROM, click on that, go into your BIOS folder, and select this file here. Next, we're gonna select the BIOS. Remember, 4627 Complex is the one that is recommended on XMU site. Select that. And for the hard disk image, go back to the root of your XMU folder and select really the only selectable one there, QCOX2 or QCOW2, I'm sorry. Now there's a couple other settings I recommend. Under display, you can set your internal resolution scale up to, I believe, nine or 10 times, but I just select 2X. And also your window size, I have a 1080p monitor and I like to play in HD 1080p. Let's start up a game. 
unfortunately at this time, every time you change a setting, you have to exit back out and restart the emulator. Now, this time we're gonna load a disc and I'm gonna show you gameplay in real time. I did leave it at one times resolution and that actually will change in game. But here we go, let's go to machine, load disc. And I've got everything in my games folder. Again, you don't have to do it that way, but I like it that way. And let's play some Dark Watch. Now guys, I went ahead and cut to this part here so I could just show you the resolution change. I didn't wanna, you know, uh, just do a bunch of gameplay and drag this thing out. But in game, you can change the internal resolution scale and I don't think the window will actually change in game, but look how much sharper that makes it at 2x. Display. Now you can go up to like 4x, which is okay. But then what happens is it will start stuttering. Now watch as I'm backing up there. The game will start stuttering. The more, the higher the internal resolution, it will kind of, you know, the emulator try to keep up. So I really, I think 2x is kind of the sweet spot for this emulator. I'm gonna go back down to 1x there. And there you can see it gets grainy again quite a bit. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps you. I've got an upcoming video with Retro Rivals on 20 suggestions to play for the original Xbox. That is the next video I'll be putting it out uh, very soon. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and uh, let me know what uh, are your favorite original Xbox games. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists, as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.